Hello and welcome to Arduino Programming and Interfacing. In this video, you are going to learn about how to use sound sensor with Arduino Uno board. So in this project, we are basically going to control the servo motor and this RGB LED by detecting the sound over here. This is actually a picture of IR sensor, but I have used a sound sensor at place of this IR sensor and it will have the digital output and which is going to be connected to pin number 3 of the Arduino. You can use uh, any interrupt pin from the Arduino and then you need to connect this RGB LED. So basically you have to make sure that whether it is a common anode or common cathode type of LED. If it is a common anode then you have to give a supply over here or else you need to ground this pin and the remaining pin will be connected to the any of this pin of the Arduino and for the servo motor I already prepared one video regarding servo motor uh, but it will have the three pins and out pin to the any of this pin of the Arduino so we are going to connect to pin number four of the Arduino now let's see how this project is going to be work so when system is initialized the count will be zero and the LED will be turned off and the motor position will be 0 degree. Now if there is some sound is detected over here, so I have provided uh, an interrupt to the system. So due to that interrupt, the count will be incremented by 1 and we will have the count as a 1. Then red light will be turned on and the motor will be at 60 degree position. Similarly, if there is a another interrupt over here that means if there is a sound over here then the count will be incremented by 1 and we will have the green light and the motor will be at 120. For the third interrupt it will be at count 3 and the blue light will be turned on and the motor will be at 180 degree. Now one more thing that I have added is I have provided a delay of 10 seconds to detect the interrupt. So let's say you are at count 0 and if you are providing a uh, 2 interrupt over here, so that, that means the count will be incremented to 1 and 2. So instead of turning on this red light, directly green light will be turned on. So now let me show you the hardware interfacing of this and then we will see how you can program this device and finally the demonstration. So this is my hardware setup. This is Arduino Uno and this is our servo motor. We have this sound sensor over here and this is the mic. You can adjust the sensitivity of this sound sensor also. This is RGB LED. I have a common cathode RGB LED. So that's why this common part is grounded. And uh, now let's see the programming part and I will show you the demonstration. So this is our code and first we need to include the servo.h header file. Then we need to create an object for a servo class and I have defined initial position as 0. We have used a pin 3 for sound sensor, pin 8 for a red LED, pin 9 for green LED and pin 10 for blue LED. So they are not a separate LED but a terminal of RGB LED. Initially count will be 0. The servo motor is attached to the pin number 4 of the Arduino and I have defined this sound pin as an input to the Arduino and remaining pin are output to the Arduino and I have attached the interrupt over here also. Now in the logic part as you can see that if we have the count is equal to 1 and if it is less than or equal to 3 then this red LED will be turned on. The position will be 60 degree and your motor will be rotated and it will have the position of the 60 degree. Similarly if count is 2 then the green LED will be turned on and the motor position will be 120 degree and in the end if we have a count equal to 3 then the blue LED will be turned on and the motor position will be 180 degree and in the else condition everything will be turned off and this is our interrupt service routine where 
we will increment the value of count whenever the interrupt is detected so now i am going to connect this usb cable to the pc then you need to go to the tools select the correct port and the arduino uno board and finally we need to click on upload so our program is uploaded into the arduino board so here you can see that initially this light is turned off and the motor is at zero degree position now i will make some sound over here i have kept the 10 second delay so now you can see that the red light is turned on and the motor is at 60 degree okay now let me make a sound one more time so the count will be a 2 and the green light will be turned on so as you can see that we have a green light over here and the motor is at 120 degree position now let's try it third time so of course we will have the blue light here so as you can see that we have a blue light and uh, the motor is at 180 degree so if i will make a sound again it will be a turn off and as you can see that now motor is at zero degree and the led is turn off now let's test the system for the multiple interrupt so i'm going to give a multiple clap over here and let's see what happened so one and two so we are expecting a green light over here and as you can see that we have a green light and a motor is at 120 degree I hope you have liked my work and please don't forget to subscribe this channel. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment box. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. I need your support. Thank you so much for watching this video.